think that the POI program offers a way for people to come together and to share knowledge, to share support and to share encouragement. So it's the health professionals joining together to ensure that the very best of care is provided at end of life. Another innovative thing that POI is doing is that we are creating greater capacity and capability for primary palliative care and we've been building this up over the past couple of years and we intend to continue growing this because specialist palliative care hospice providers such as myself, we will not be able to cater to the needs of the growing ageing populations around Auckland. So we need to empower our community care partners such as general practice teams, residential care facility teams in order that we can all provide better palliative care to our community. MDT, our multidisciplinary team, is um, quite unique. Um, we comprise a whole lot of different um, specialities, nursing and, and GPs and, and um, clinical pharmacists and cultural liaison and counsellors, you name it, we're, we're a bit of a jack of all trades too. So when um, general practice identifies someone that they would like to develop a plan with and sends that plan into us, we look at that person, we do some research, we um, look a lot widely than general practice can. We have a lot of resources at our disposal. And then we write a response based on Te Whare Tapawha. So we're looking more widely than someone's just physical needs. We're looking at their emotional needs, their spiritual needs, their um, family needs. And we offer general practice that um, advice, that, that piece of um, work back which they can then continue the conversation with their client with. So some of the benefits from cultural perspective is that a lot of our, predominantly our Māori and our Pacifica families that would prefer to stay within their own homes, would like to stay connected to their GPs because they've really got existing relationships with them. It gives us as an opportunity to sort of help explore that, what, what's important around their culture, how we can help support the GP or the rescue facilities to sort of make those connections for them. And then how the families could sort of continue and do what is important for them. And so that might be um, staying within their home, um, their carers, loved ones looking after them. But how can we can help support them and provide other resources that are existing to them that they don't want to necessarily come to hospice. And it's not exclusive to just Māori and Pacifica, there are also a lot of our Asian community as well. So it's important that we cater for everybody and that we are equipped and ready for ourselves as well to support our families and so they can live the life to the fullest how they want to do it and we sort of have a, a resource only for the GP clinics and primary care and the facilities but also for the families out in the community. Evidence-based tools or evidence-based practice is key to making um, dis decisions that are transparent that are easily explained to other people. Um, it's a way when we document that we can show that we've gone through processes and this enables uh, the people that we use the evidence-based tools for to get the best possible care and the best plans of care to be put in place. So there are probably two main ways that POI has made a difference to my practice. The first is that now I have a fully funded 30 minute appointment to offer to patients to discuss their palliative needs, which is wonderful. And I can either do that in aged residential care, where patients often opt to do that as a family meeting, or there's the option for people to come to the surgery. And 30 minutes is a perfect amount of time to pick apart those slightly more complex things that I just can't get through in 15 minutes normally. Um, it's not a referral to hospice, it's a referral for specialist palliative care advice so that we can continue to care for somebody in the community, which is perfect. 
So the second difference is the training that POI provides to nurses working in residential care. So they offer to walk alongside the nurses and they offer education and support and that's meant that my experience as a GP going into facilities is that I find nurses that are more confident and much happier providing palliative care to their residents now. So the POI education and training has helped me in my practice by increasing my knowledge base but also it's been able to give me skills and tips on how to talk to patients, how to help my staff talk to patients and bring up those difficult questions in a way that's therapeutic and um, supportive to families because it's not always easy to have those conversations. POI mentoring and coaching has benefited not only my colleagues but my team by um, giving us skills on how to deal with awkward situations, situations that we don't feel comfortable in. It also gives us tips and advice on areas that we hadn't thought about for caring for a patient and adding more um, support where we think we might not be doing so well and they've given us the added background to say that you're actually doing fine. My experience with the, um, the outcomes for patients for palliative care planning, um, I've got two patients who are actually in the um, terminal phase of their lives at the moment. Um, it's been fantastic because we had to activate them quite quickly. One, well, I've even been able to call on um, the multidisciplinary team already. We've had physios go and we've had counsellors go and we've had dietitians go and we've been able to access that very quickly. Um, so they are just feeling completely supported um, and, and overwhelmed with the support that they've got. As the manager and a registered nurse or a patient advocate, I have seen the huge benefits of palliative pathway activation towards our residents, the families and the nurses. It is important to change the mindset and the culture of the nurses in seeing POI as one of those huge paperwork. Instead, it is a very significant and useful tool to improve the services we offer, to work as a team and strengthens our purpose which is to bring the best of life for our residents.